Hi, this is Ishio, and welcome back to Judgment. And, yeah, we just infiltrated that Yakuza base, and now it's time to take a break. So, where are we trying to get to? Somewhere around here? There's a lot of people here. None of them are particularly helpful. Get out of my way. Is it in here? No. Hello? Hello? No. See, it's been a couple of weeks since I last played this, and I've forgotten. Here we go. Upstairs. There we go. There we go. Gotta rest up. We're gonna crash on the couch. Oh, we've gotta use our key. So what is it? This one? No? Shit. No, wrong key. It must be this one. Perfect. Got it. Yeah, you don't want to leave it unlocked, so you'll get in trouble. What, just crash out? Yeah. Let's rest, and hopefully tomorrow will bring better news. It's now morning. I've got all I need for Morase. I should probably report back. So we need to go back to Shintani and tell him what we discovered, which wasn't really a whole lot. They raided the place overnight, and they found that there was no one inside the bar. Whereas the prosecution say that that was exactly when the murder happened. So if the murder did happen, well, we know the murder happened, but it wasn't there. It wasn't when they say it was, or where they say it was. I'm going the wrong way. I only remember that detail because I was editing the last video last night, so I'm a little bit fresh on the story. But the gameplay, the controls? Eh, uh, not so much. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Because this is obviously a big game, and we're still in the first chapter of the story. And this is, I believe, part six of the series. Oh, I'm getting... Okay, why these guys want to fight? I mean, I don't mind. No, ch change fight style. There we go. And I'm a little bit... Yeah, I'm aware that the longer a gameplay is, it's... You get less views per video. I don't... I don't really mind about views all that much with the channel because I'm just playing games that I enjoy playing and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. But yeah, if you've got a gameplay that's coming up for 50 videos, if the first part gets 50 views and you're losing a couple of views each time, by the end, nothing. There's going to be no one watching and I'm just going to be bloating my channel with a lot of videos that no one really cares about. So hopefully this gameplay uh, gets a few views. Just a few. I only need like 10 or something just to keep us afloat. Okay, here we go. Let's report back. So yeah, I think the longest gameplay... Oh shit, more guys want to fight. I think the longest gameplay on my channel all told is the Kingdom Hearts series. I think that's over 100 videos. And that took about... That took a long time. It took a long time. I smashed that window, I'm sorry. Okay, grab, grab a dude. That's it, sling. Oh, throwing actually does quite a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not going to use my triangle attacks. I want to I wanna save those for a big fight. Oh, running jump. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, this this guy just wants to drive through. <laughs> okay, let's, let's report in. To the second floor we go. So who's around? Just Shintani, yeah? Hello. Hey, you find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani Sensei. So, according to Marase, Amor was empty at midnight on the third. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase going to testify? It's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. What you got? This is a more. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. That's a lot of guys. Go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. 
Murase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty handed. Hmm. So they saw the camera and then headed to the back door. That's right. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. So we want to interview the the guy again. The guy who's been arrested. we got to defend this guy. There's no question that he's dodgy as fuck. But if he says he didn't do it, he's got no real reason to lie. Okay, what's up? Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool. But she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later. Is that it? That's the whole conversation? Okay. So we just need to chill out for a bit and wait for a call. Is that our plan? So maybe we should explore a little bit in the meantime, or maybe something will pop up. But I think this is the first legitimate bit of free time we've been given. So... How should we spend our time? Oh, a hotel. Hello? Who's a, who's around? Can we, can we book a hotel stay? Do we want to do that? Oh, I've I found somewhere else. Oh! Oh, what's going on? Help! Someone bring a translator! Okay, what's she talking about? Yo, is everything okay? No, it's not. I don't understand a word that this guy's saying. Please, help a girl out. Uh, pardon me. Do you happen to know where the toilet is? It's a tourist from overseas. Hmm. Okay, I've always been good at basic English. I should take over. Yo, he wants to know where the restroom is. Oh, it's right outside the cafe. Um, In English, that would be... It's right outside the cafe. You can't miss it. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, lots of tourists around. That went pretty well. I hope I wasn't too rusty. Sorry about that, sir. That other word really caught me off guard. I always thought it was just toilet in English. Well, at least you know your basics. Sometimes it's hard to determine the best word to say. Yeah, I do like the language, but I haven't been studying for so long. Gotcha. So, you're a student right now? Yeah, I'm actually in college. I've been thinking of working overseas for a while as well. Once I graduate, anyway. So, I decided to start working here and get more speaking practice. You know, since hotels generally have a lot of foreign customers. It's not a bad idea. Well, keep it up and maybe your English will improve. Okay, yeah, thanks for today's lesson. Oh, and can I ask for your name? It's me. Sure. I'm uh, Takayuki Yagami. And I'm Kaede Sada. It was really nice to meet you. Oh, we got a friend. That was Kaede. Likewise. Well, keep at it. Hi. I will. I hope to see you next time. Oh, okay, cool. That went up on our friendship meter. That was kind of cool. So, and we can buy stuff off her as well, which I don't need to right now, so that's fine. Oh, maybe we can find a couple of other people that we can help out. But yeah, this is a proper tourist spot, so there's going to be a few out-of-towners around. Okay, anybody else need some assistance, sir? Do you want some help? No. Okay, there's an arcade here. Hello? Welcome to Club Sega. Can I help you with anything? Uh, let's check out the UFO catcher prizes. Yeah. Can you change the prizes in the catchers? Of course, just a sec. Ooh, so we can... Yeah, we can try and get a toy. What do we want? Hang on, how, how do you go first person? What do we want? What's that super monkey ball? These guys? Wow, I want... I want a cat. Can I, can I use it? Let's play. How much does it cost? Uh... Okay. 500 gem for three games. Let's go... Let's go for the orange one, maybe? Oh fuck, I messed up. Alright, go. It's really hard to tell depth. Okay, come on, can we do it? Oh, oh, fuck. 
Alright, so forget that. Let's go for the orange one. So the UFO catchers in Japan, they're pretty difficult. It's weird, if you do the arcades, like the ones I'm used to in this country, the claws have three arms, whereas these ones only have two. Ooh, that was no good. I've got one more go, and then I'm going to give up. Okay, I've got to get around that big head. I don't need to move it back, so I just need to line it up along the front. Okay, let's try this. But these machines are often rigged. They can change how strong... Oh, they can change how strong the claw is. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck. <laughs> oh, I can't leave it at that, can I? I can't leave it at that. I'll give it one more go. One more go. Alright. Let's try. As it's right along the front, it's... He's a little bit closer. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so close. Okay. Two more goes. Two more goes. But that's the problem with these machines. There's a, a stubbornness. You already invested a little bit of money. And it just gets a little bit closer. So, oh, maybe just a bit more. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. I'm happy. Yes. Yes. We got, we got our kitty cat tiger. And we still got one credit left. I mean, I'm happy now. I don't need anything else. And we're going to pick up maybe a cube. There's no shadow, so it's hard to tell the depth. Oh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Well, these UFO catchers are the most generous ones I've ever seen. Beautiful. Really, really good. Yeah, give me that thing. So what is that? Oh, it's a Kolonian. Hmm. So... Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Very, very nice. Oh, what? This woman's backing off. I've only just stood here. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone else around that we can chat to or hang out with. Okay, so... On the map, it does look like... There's a friendship mission here. Hello? Welcome, sir. Okay, what's up? I mean... I don't want to buy anything, really. But maybe I need to buy something to... Trigger a conversation? Let's have the cheapest thing. Let's have a soup. Okay, that's tasty. So... Yeah, itadakimasu. That is what you say. Tasty shit. Thank you. So, how's the food treating you? Hmm? Uh, I mean, it was really good. Awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. Just so as you know, we use a special method called fresh aging to prepare our steaks without them ever seeing a freezer. Wow, no wonder they're so soft and succulent. Not only that, but our beef undergoes a rigorous selection process to ensure that only the best reaches your table. Even though the prices are so cheap? Absolutely. We do our utmost best to serve our customers the highest quality meat for the lowest possible price. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, President Ichinose. This is where you've been. It's almost time for your meeting, so please come back to the office. Oh, Motomura-kun. Is it that time already? Huh? Wait, you're the guy who runs this place? I mean, yeah, I apologise for not mentioning it sooner. There is also, right over his shoulder, that poster. <laughs> I'm Kunio Ichinose, and yeah, I do run Ikinari Steak. Cool. So, is this actually, like, a real person? Like, a real restaurant you can go to? So, this is the president of the whole franchise. Okay, so what are you doing here, then? Let customers be the judge, is what I've always lived by. So, I came to get a feel for how the place is running. Gotcha. I knew you weren't just some random employee. Uh, pardon me, but um, we really should get going, sir. Oh, that's right. Sorry. And by the way, what's your name? Yagami okay, Yagami-san. I appreciate you dining with us today. Please come back and enjoy our steaks again. We are working on these friendships. Definitely, I'll be back. Well, see you later then. Okay. To think I met the president of the franchise. 
So yeah, this is definitely an explore and see who's around. So if I just run around randomly on the map... Ah, uh, these guys want to fight. Yeah, if I just run around randomly on the map. If you see, like, a handshake, that is... Okay, grab this thing. No. Oh, shit. Just hurt him. Just hurt him. Oh, he down. Yeah. Head for the handshakes and see if I can get some little friend missions going on. Don't get up. Don't... Dude. Okay. Just... Done. That was fine. There's so many people just want to fight for no actual reason. Cool, so we just had a little bit of spare time just to hang out. But now we're expected at the police station and we can ask Hamala a couple more questions about what actually went on. So the place is completely empty. So he must have beat the guy up and then just left him there or something. But yeah. What? More guys want to fight? Dude. Dude. Why? I'm a busy dude. I haven't got time to beat up every idiot who's around. Okay, no. Grab this guy. That's it. Bam. Good hit. Don't. Don't. Okay. Throw him. Throw him. Catch. Wow, this guy's powered up. No. We are done. Any other taxi driver would not have waited. <laughs> he would have left. But yeah, can we please take me? We shall go to the police station, please. Let's be on our way. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyore man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Murase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. He's suddenly getting evasive. Even pulled out the I was too drunk to remember card. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long! Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Wow, we gave him a proper stare down, but this guy did not give an inch. But yeah, he's legitimately hiding something, and it's just a case of finding out what. And why would he hide it when he's the one whose head's on the line? So it's all still a little bit 
weird. So what is the next step in our investigation? We do, do we need to go back to the sauna? Is that the plan? Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amur. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? That's an ex Yakuza for you. Underground police info does sound useful. Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you'd never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. Okay. Okay, we need to find this guy then. And give him some money, buy him off. I think I've got enough money. So, where to? He's up in the, the northeast from here. Maybe if there's another mission on the way, little friendship thing, I can do that too. Yeah, just here there's someone. Hello? In the burger place? Yeah, there's a couple of people in here. Yo, what's going on? Do you need a hand? Okay, I guess we should buy something. Always order the cheapest thing on the menu. Let's have a, a shake. There we go. And then hopefully that will trigger a little bit of a story scene and we can work out what's going on. Good stuff. Back to it. Anybody want help? Thank you. We look forward to seeing you again soon. No, that was no... No friendship. No friendship. I haven't fully worked out how to get some of these story things to go. Oh, it's when we leave. There we go. Yagami-kun. Oh, Tomioka-san. That's Rie Tomioka. She's the owner of Building One, where my office is. Three years ago, the first case I tackled after quitting my job as a lawyer and becoming a detective was for her. It was supposed to be as simple as fighting a lost dog, but um, I guess you could say that it was bad luck that the dog ended up at the site of a drug trade. It was kind of bad. Ever since then, she's been letting me rent a room for cheap. Which kind of helps since I don't have any money. But even paying cheap rent is tough. Okay, so she's like our landlord. Excuse me. Yo, sorry to ask, but um, do you mind waiting a little bit longer for this month's rent? <laughs> wow, even if I said no, you probably couldn't afford to pay me right now anyway. Am I right? <laughs> well, that's a yes. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you can at least afford to put food in your mouth. I worry sometimes, you know. <laughs> After all... If you starve to death in your office, the building would be designated as a stigmatized property. Wow, so that's what you're worried about. By the way, Yagami-kun, in exchange for waiting on the rent for the umpteenth time, I wanted to ask a favor. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? Well, I've been thinking. I'd like to utilize all our available space in the building, so I've decided to open a izakaya. You know, since our rent income isn't all that stable. Mm, well, you really got me with that one. What can I do to help? I want to get some feedback on the menu I've been making. I'm sure you have all sorts of useful advice, as someone who seems to know their way around the culinary world. That I can do. So, do you mind lending me a hand? Rather, your taste buds. Yep. Well, you've treated me good for so long, plus you're offering me free food. Wow, that's an offer I definitely can't refuse. <laughs> nice. Then it's settled then. What I will do is put some of the dishes I'm planning to serve inside your office fridge. Then you can give me your thoughts once you try it. Got it. How exactly do you want my feedback though? Nah, send me a message whenever you're free. How's that for simple? Cool, perfect. Can I have your contact ID then? Sure thing, just a sec. Oh, we got a friend on the phone. Hey, there we go. I'll be counting on you from now on. I'm not going to let you down. 
That's cool. We do need lots of friends in this game. I'm going to talk to loads more people. I better take a look at the office fridge every now and then and see what she cooks up. That's kind of cool. So that's going to be like an ongoing mission. I also noticed just next door there's one more friendship. So we're going to do that and then we're going to check out this story. So is it in here? Let's go upstairs. So who who wants to be a friend? Someone on this floor. So what's the place? Mm, it's a coffee place. Okay, so one quick coffee coming up. Yo, what's up? Table for one. Oh, excuse me? I mean, someday, Mihara-chan, it'll just be you and me. Yo, dude. Oh, shit, son. I mean, welcome, sir. Um, how may I help? I'm a customer, or at least I'm trying to be. Can you take me to my seat or something? I'll have a coffee. Oh, of course. Um, please, right this way. Okay, this guy is down in the dumps or something. Is his girlfriend giving him trouble? I'm sorry about earlier. I'm normally on top of my game. Oh, here's your order. Hey. It's fine, but uh, everything okay? Well, to be honest, I can't stop thinking about Miharu-chan, so I keep spacing out on customers. Okay, who dat? Is she your girlfriend? Nah, I wish. Her name's Miharu Shima, and she started as a part-timer here pretty recently. Unfortunately, she sees me just as another co-worker. She's totally my type, though. Wow, I get where you're coming from, but I think you should put your job first. That's what pays the bills, right? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry to bug you with this stuff. As an apology, your order today is on me. Hey, thanks, dude. What's your name? It's Norimoto. Okay, thank you. That's that's cool of you. Norimoto-kun, huh? And Mihado-chan, hopefully you two can work it out. Hi. I hope so as well. Thanks again. It's nice little quirky characters. <laughs> See you later. Okay, yeah, we're done. We definitely need to go somewhere else. So this dude is now... We've been acquainted. We are now friends, sort of. So I need to go and talk to this informant. And hopefully we won't get bothered. Maybe somebody will jump me on the way. But I need to talk to this informant dude. Who is... He hangs out in a bar, wasn't it? Somewhere here. There we go. I rely way too much on the map. Is it this place? Hello? Oh, yeah, we've been here before. I think so. Yo, what's going on? Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. I'll have to come back later. I hope this guy's worth the trouble, though. It's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. Oh, free stuff. What's all this? <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars. For killing a man. And gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. If the Yakuza who punched the host by the sauna was Hamura, then that might help establish his alibi that he went to the sauna Goten afterwards. I should ask the host. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaiji Street. That's where I'd look. Oh, we have a lead. For sure. Alright. So, a while ago, we checked out the sauna area. And, yeah. 
this guy, there was no one around who knew anything, but that one guy did mention there being a fight of some description. So it looks like we can follow up on that lead. Excuse me. So it's it's a bit of a, a dingy area. But hopefully there'll be someone around that we can talk to. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So it should be just through here. But I'm still quite in awe of the graphics. I mean, you just look at it. It's really, really nice. Alright, we're getting distracted. Keep going. No more friendships for the moment. I just want to talk to some guy. And hopefully he can be our Adabai. If he'd want to be our Adabai though, I'm not sure. Yo, what's up? Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Ah, shit. First the owner of a moor. Now this guy, why can't people just stay at their clubs? Wait, maybe I can find him the same way as before. It's worth a shot. Okay. Just checking our phone. Oh, who are we, who are we calling? Yo, Tsukumo. Oh, this guy, yes. Hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh, I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working, it's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Huh, this might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Uh, we've got food, play, and they, they are on a date, so we'll go with that. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Okay, so we're looking for this host dude. So, where to? Up north. So it'll be interesting to see the, the girl he's going out with. That'll be interesting as well. Okay. Oh, we've been attacked. Really? Now? Oda, why would you do this? Hello? This looks like our person. Hey, yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh... Better luck next time? Wait, what? Seikun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Doesn't look like Seiya's here. I should try somewhere else. That was no good. Can I just, I just beat a guy, that's it. But, oh shit! <laughs> I ain't seen that one before. The old bollard knockout. Don't get up. Okay. I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, there's someone. That was easy. Hello? Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Doesn't look like Sayers here. I should try somewhere else. She wants him to herself and she will not share. And she's not happy about that being cheated on. So she regards him as a proper boyfriend, whereas the other woman, she seemed to be happy that just spend some time with him. I don't know. 
I don't. I still don't really get it. Whatever. Let's go and find out. That is a bollard. Do not hit that. Am I being attacked? Run away. Just run away. How far do they chase me? How far will they chase me? I can see on the map that there's three red arrows coming after me. Will they give up or will they chase me throughout the entire place? Okay, here we are. Anyone to talk to? Is this guy is this guy really doing this? Oh no, he gave up. Fine. Find the woman who posted. So we need to find someone. Oh, you hiding behind. That's it. I hope Satan gets here soon. Wait a sec. You mean Saya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh no, sorry. I'm just looking for Saya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Saya Kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. He'll be here any minute. Uh huh. Uh, how long have you been waiting anyway? I. I. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. It doesn't look like say is here. I should try somewhere else. Wow. I got nothing. Uh, hello? Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? No. Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit. <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> That's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. All right, I'll check it out. Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> that is right at the other end of town as well. I mean, if you want to come with, I can show you where Sayukun is. That would be funny, actually, to gather up all the girls and bring bring them all along just to say, look, this is who you're being cheated on with. Alright, so that was a lot of dead ends. A lot of just running around town. Really? Okay, fine. More people want to fight. Okay, beat, beat, beat. I do like the fighting. It is quite fun. Can I pick something up? Okay, grab. That's it. Let's finish this guy off. Oh shit! Face stomp. That's it. I think we are done. But it all helps. You get a little bit of extra experience points each time. But I need to find this guy. I'm, I'm losing my patience with this guy. He's just not around. Okay, go, 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 go. Other end of town. If I get jumped again, I'll probably cut it out. <laughs> Is it this end of town? But yeah, I really do want to just spend just an hour or so just exploring the town and doing lots of friendship quests. Maybe I'll do that as like a, a bit of a special extended episode or something. Just ignore the story and just hang out. This is our place. Dudes, stop chasing me. I found the place. I have not found the place. No, excuse me. Excuse me? It's here, isn't it? Car park? No. Okay, let's have a car park brawl. Is it in here? This looks good. Let's try this place. He had better be here. But this looks a lot more promising. There's just some random place in the street in here. No, that's outside. No, don't go outside. Keep going up. Saya, you'd better be here. I'm just going to let myself in. There he is. Dude. Hey. Saya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan. I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. 
You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. Yes, I might be able to prove Hamra's alibi now. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight, out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star. Isn't that near Sana Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like mumbling to himself or something. Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna, that Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. The old guy at sauna Goten said that no one left the place till morning. And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. And can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. So, it went down in front of Kyushu number one star. That's the best lead I've got right now. Let's hope that they have a camera. But that was a solid, solid lead. Uh, a real witness and an alibi. And that really, really helps us out a lot. Okay, I think that that will do for this video. But we have got a solid lead to chase up in the next episode. So this is Ushio signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.